Hey guys, Ivan here, and uh, as you can see in the thumbnail and the title of the video, Chicago Pro is finished and we had two major names, major bodybuilders competing here. Uh, they are both 212 competitors. We have Zane Watson and Guy Cisternino. And none of these guys got even into top three. On the hard left, you can see Guy Cisternino, and on the hard right, you can see Zane Watson. None of them is in the middle, but they did not end up out of top 5. Thankfully, they are in top 5. Zane took 5th place and Guy took 4th. Guy looked great. Guy looked really good considering the fact that he had an injury. And I am not really sure what kind of injury was it. If you guys know, please remind me. I totally forgot. But he was basically out of shape for a long time. He wasn't able to train properly probably to supplement his workouts, if you know what I mean properly. So now he when he's back on it, on it, he looks much big much better and much bigger, yeah. But at this show he was great. His conditioning was good, but he was lacking in other parts such as uh, back development and overall uh, torso development. I would say arms as well. But his legs were probably the best at this stage. His nickname is Quadro, but he stresses that it's not because of his quads. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. His quads are looking really good. But you have Zane Watson on the hard right, and I noticed him posting a, a, a story or a post on his Instagram, and he said, I'm ready too soon. But in my opinion, he wasn't even ready at this show. I think he looks two weeks out. I think he could have uh, gotten his glutes to be much drier, especially. But everything else was just a little bit blurry. Maybe he just, I don't know, overcarbed and came in flat. Maybe that's the reason why he looks like this, but I don't really find this impressive. Not very much. He is a former Olympian. Not former, but he competed last year. And I say former because now he's top five, and I don't think he qualified for the Mr. Olympia. So I don't know if you're going to see him at the Mr. Olympia, but this year his father died. So he's a little crumbled because of that. And for that reason, he will probably not be able to give his 100%. As you can see, the judges moved Guy Cisternino in the middle of the lineup. But I don't really think uh, they consider him to be the winner of the show. Maybe they did it just out of respect and because of the audience. So the audience can actually compare him to the other guys. So they can actually see clearly that he did not deserve to place any higher than this. A look at these two black guys on his sides. Again, black guys are dominating. I look at their backs and compare them to guys. What guy has is very good and very big lower body. His glutes, his hamstrings. Look at that. Look at those hamstrings now. That's the sweep, the hang on them. Really good. And uh, his quads are looking crazy. Very, very big. The biggest quads on the stage. But quads are not enough for him to win the show. Now, judges are certain that he's not winning it, of course. So they're putting him on the side. They want to compare him against Zane Watson to see who is better of these two guys. So let's see them. Let's compare them. Let's make a judgment ourselves, not only the judges. So in this pose right here, um, it's kind of close. You can see very different physiques. Guy doesn't have as many details as Zane does. He's not as polished, but the density of his muscle is uh, just better. But Zane was off. I don't think this is the best the way Zane Watson that we ever saw. I think he's a little bit flat here. And this is also not the best guy sister Nino that we ever saw. Not by a long shot. But considering the fact that this is actually a comeback, he looks great. Uh, his problem are his arms, pretty much. His arms and pretty much his whole upper body compared to his crazy legs. Enormous quads, very good glutes, very good hammies as well. But from the front, as you can see, he gets crushed by these other guys, especially by these black dudes in the middle, who actually were able to beat him. So he was out of top three. Three guys beat him, but not all of them were black, actually. Uh, two guys on his left took uh, first two spots, and the guy on the left of them took third spot. So let me actually give you their names. So the winner of this show is Lloyd Dollar. That's his real name. Yeah, Lloyd Dollar. Then the second spot was actually 
a, a white guy, a white guy, and uh, his name is uh, John Javet, if that's how you pronounce his name. So it wasn't a black dude, it's, uh, it's this one, uh, this white guy, he took second, and the third, the third spot was Bola Ojex, um, maybe African nationality, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that's him, that's the top three. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who these people are. I don't know them. I have no idea who they are. And if you do, tell me a bit more about them. Anyways, this is it for this video. Zane Watson, 5th place. Guy Citronino, 3rd place. Tell me what you think about their physiques. Tell me, did they deserve to get higher placement? I don't think so. But whatever you think, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And please, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.